When you are creating a PowerPoint, you want to make sure you have a clean and simple design. So PowerPoint gives you some built-in options in the design tab. But in this case, I'm just going to use a custom background with an image I found on Google. Copy that, paste it into PowerPoint. And then there's this nice button called Design Ideas, which comes up with a bunch of um, layouts to choose from. So I'm going to choose the top one. PowerPoint is going to be called My Favorite Movie. Then add an author. And that's going to be my um, title page. I'm going to add a new slide. I'm going to call this my personal ranking. And then I'm going to change these bullet points to numbers. And I'm going to start making my list. And what you don't want to do is fill your slide with a lot of information. You want to just have bullet points, graphics, um, graphs, or pictures. You don't want a whole paragraph of text because your audience won't want to read all that. So I got my list right there. And then you're going to add a picture because it's a lot of blank space on the right hand side. I'm going to go to Google again. And when I'm looking for pictures, I want to find PNG, which are a file type with a transparent background, like this checkerboard background. Because when you bring it in to PowerPoint, it will blend in with the background, which is usually what you want. Then I'm going to choose this design idea right here. And so it matches the um, design of the title screen. Okay, on to the next slide. I'm going to do a comparison of the box office of the movies. I'm going to insert a chart. It's a great way to represent data um, pictorially instead of lots of words. So I'm going to copy some data over here. And I'm going to make it so it's only two series like that. There we go. So it's going to be comparing global, box office, and domestic. doesn't need a title since it's got a title up here. And then I'm going to go to design ideas again. And this top one looks good. Okay, last slide it's going to be a similar slide, another chart, clustered chart, comparing the Rotten Tomato score. Again, make it two series and remove the title. Again, go back to design ideas choose this top one. There we go. Now, what we need to add is our um, transitions. So, what you want for transitions between slides is something, again, very simple and quick. Something like curtains is just unnecessary. It takes six seconds, which is very wasteful. So I'm going to, these first couple ones are 
some good options. I'm going to choose fade. And then I'm going to do apply to all so that it goes to every line. And lastly, I want to add in some simple trans um, animations. So for the title, let's do let's do split. And for the subtitle, maybe um, float in. And then, since it's a title page, um, let's just do after previous and after previous because we just want it to appear without um, clicking on the screen. Next slide. Let's again do split. Again, we don't want to do like grow and turn or bounce or it just takes way too much time. So I'm going to do, do split. And for the rankings, I'm going to do float in. And it automatically does each one separately, which is what I want, so that I can talk about each one. And again, you don't want to put what you would say, just the basic bullet points. And then you can add notes at the bottom here on the notes tab. Just put uh, what you have to say. And then you can see the notes. Um, while you're presenting, if you have a second monitor. And then for the picture, what would be a good... Zoom's pretty good. Yeah, we could go with, go with that. And then, I want to have this picture come up after Avengers Endgame. And the first one I want after previous picture after previous all the rest of them after when I click I want to advance. And similarly similarly with this one, just do split. Uh, maybe let's do white. So these first like like six or seven are good ones. They're subtle. You don't want them to be like overpowering your presentation or like distracting the audience. And on that one I want after previous uh, on both of them. And similarly with um, this one. I'll just do the same um, quick animation. And again, I'll set those both to after previous. And then if I go F5, start the presentation. And there we go. We made a simple presentation that is clean and, and semi-professional that has very little words on it and it's mostly pictures or graphs. 